I'm back out today at Penny Farthing Place on the east side of the Westgate in Oxford. Now today we are on a bit of a hunt. Um, we were told a story the other week about a bit of um, the old city wall that could be seen um, from inside of Sainsbury's, which is just down through there, down past St Ebb's Church and into Westgate. Um, now this story we were told, I can't remember who told us, um, but that there was a bit of the city wall in Sainsbury's and that if you ask, Sainsbury's have to let you go and see it. The other day when we were in Sainsbury's, we asked if we could go and see the old bit of city wall. Now in doing that, the, um, the gentleman told us um, that it wasn't a wall and that it was a pillar. Now, and it was from a cathedral. Now going by what this information board said, uh, or says on the edge of the penny five in place. It says, it says here, even, um, the Franci Franciscan settlement, in, or the Franciscans settled in Oxford in the 13th century and built an enormous friary, Grey Friars, near the church. So obviously the church is there and Sainsbury's is just down the way. Um, it was just outside the city wall. Permission was granted to create a small gate in the wall to allow access to the city. This is recalled in nearby Littlegate Street the lane off Penny Farthing Place to your right. It was to be called Penny Lane, but was later changed to Roger Bacon Lane to commemorate the famous friar, philosopher and scientist. Now there is actually a plaque, which I may do a video of in a minute, down in Westgate. Um, they've put it on the new side of the building, um, which is quite interesting if you care about philosophers, which you should do because uh, that's why we have some of our knowledge. Um, now it says here, um, he was buried at Grey Friars in 1294. It says, sadly, nothing can now be seen of the once great friary. We are now going to go into Sainsbury's and see if we can actually find the pillar, which I believe was probably from the friary, being that the guy in Sainsbury's said it was from a cathedral. Um, but going by that information, it does seem as if it's from the Grey Friars friary. But, um, okay, so I will go and have a wander in. I probably won't film in the first bit of Sainsbury's because they get a bit funny. Um, but yeah, hopefully we find something cool. I'm now in the Westgate, just outside Sainsbury's. Um, we've spoken to the gentleman in there and he is going to allow us to go down and do a little bit of filming. Um, as I said, I won't film going through the shop. Apparently it's not a column either, it's just literally some bits of um, stone markings on the floor. But what I'll do is I'll still take some video um, footage of it, just so that we can all see. And um, then we can decide whether it's grey fries or not, and if it's the friary. So, um, we couldn't find any information on this whatsoever. So if anyone knows of anything, or was here during the construction and knows a little bit more um, about what we're going to find, um, please let me know, and uh, we can research it all together. Thank you. See you in a second. Ooh. I'll have to put me... Okay, let me put my torch on. Oh, oh no, it's not So, okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, this is cool. Oh, Russell, man, it's a shame we haven't got my big torch. Right, so, we've got to clamber down. Down these little iron... Iron steps. That should be right. Oh. Yeah, there's some steps, and then we come down. So they have created this concrete um, protection for it, and then we come down here and look at this. Look at all of this column. So there is a pillar from the original Ferrari in. Right the way back. Yeah, and you see some of the old wall that comes round. Yeah, it's amazing. Look, it's an actual. It's actually like the whole corner of the. It's just right that they've got on here, but it's working. It's not very bright. Oh, it's been up yeah. Yeah, that's why. That is absolutely amazing that this is just in the the basement of Sainsbury's. It's modern stuff. So I can't see. So. I'll just do a bit of explanation here. So we've got a big column here, a bit of a pillar, sorry. Um, and then it goes down and then it's sat on some stone. 
Um, we've got a bit of the old wall here. Again, this is probably from 1297 or around that time when the Ferrari was around. Um, and then we've got two rounded stones here, which obviously were part of the, the main wall. So this is probably like the foundation here. Um, it's obviously all the way around is just modern construction. Oh, you assume. Um, that is amazing. I'll see if there's any markings on it. Try and get around this side as well. Not the easiest thing to film because it is really tight in here. Um, again, you can see See a, lot of the old, a bit of modern rubbish down on the floor. I'll get on the other side of it and have a film from that side. Yeah, so as suspected, this probably is from the Ferrari, if this was on the right spot. Oh, the things that most people don't even know that we have in the centre of Oxford. Well, that is a fantastic find. So some stories, oh, just some stories do actually have some weight behind them. I'm going to see, see if I can just get up there, Russ, and just what? film it from above. There's Russell. He's not quite as old as the pillar. Mind you, are getting on a little bit now, Russ, aren't you? I'm only six months older than you. Yeah, that's old enough. Sorry, because the uh, the light is messing with all the the dust that's in here. But so that there is the one of the, the main pillar or column and then the wall obviously runs around and this would make sense that it was on or near Littlegate, hence the names the road names named uh, Littlegate where there's a little doorway cut into the wall to allow people to gain access. But yeah, well I was definitely not expecting to find that today. All right, I shall now flip that round and try and get over safely. No, oh, in fact, I can't flip it around because I'll lose my camera. Anyway, right. And I shall clamber back out. Yeah, I might have to really... Oh, that was my head, if you could hear that. So there you go. Sometimes stories do come to fruition. Um, we were only told that a few days ago, and uh, like I say, if you don't ask, you don't get. Um, we're now wandering back out of Sainsbury, so now um, back down to where St. Ed's is, just down here. Um, I'll just show you Sir Roger Bacon Lane, which is just on the outside of Sainsbury's. So again, there's St. Ed's there, and Russell and his pizza for breakfast. Frowned upon, I must say. Um, so now we are at Roger Bacon Lane. I hope that's around the right way because I can't, in, when I'm filming it, it's actually back to front. Um, it is quite far the most boring of the lanes in Oxford. There is absolutely no history in this lane other than the fact it's named after Sir Roger Bacon. It is Sir Roger Bacon. Maybe I'm thinking Sir Roger Bannister. Anyway, we're going to have a look. It might just be Roger Bacon Lane. It is Roger Bacon Lane. But I thought he had a Sir, uh, a knighthood. He might have a sir, but anyway. Um, so we're gonna go down and I'll quickly show you the plaque um, that commemorates Sir Roger Bacon. And um, well, we'll see you when we're down at Westgate. Okay, just to conclude the video, um, we're down by the new Westgate. Um, as you can see, the new Westgate is just here. And this is called Old Greyfire Street. Kind of ties in with the, the fact we think it is Greyfire's um, friary. Just here is Oxford Preservation Trust. These are some beautiful buildings as well. Um, maybe one day we might get in there and have a little look around. I have worked in there, so I do know of some of the uh, the architecture and the likes. It's, to be fair, they're just they're just normal houses. They're not got anything too special in. But again, I think they're um, a good few hundred years old, or at least a couple hundred years old. Anyway, um, we come round, and as you walk between the alleyway, which is between the Westgate, so 
where the old entrance to the west gate or where the car park and the west gate used to have the bridge um, Russell is still oh, Russell is still just round here as my camera doesn't track around with me um, eating his pizza reading some information but what I wanted to show you is just on that side over there um, I'll flip the camera around so that you can read it um, but it all explains about Greyfriars and Sir Roger Bacon or Roger Bacon we'll find out in a second if he was ever a sir um, might have been before knighthoods were given out not sure as I say not a historian um, okay I'll flip the camera around Okay, as I said, we are just outside of the West Gate. I will now take you around the side of this. Can you first... Wait, is that old Greyfriars or...? Yeah. Oh, that's Greyfriars there? Number three, the Greyfriars Church. Okay, and where was that? That was just there. And back in 67, 76, when they dug it all up, they found the footprint of this. There's no recorded history of drawings or anything. Okay, so they only found the footprint, which is obviously what we found... So does it say within that information about the um, the column or the bit in the bottom bit of the Not column yet. that we found? I've only got two out. Okay. All right. Well, I'll leave you to look at that for a minute whilst I have a wander around and just show you the plaque. We noticed this plaque the other week, um, but obviously it had no relevance there. Oh no, it is just Roger Bacon. And just here we have the plaque for Roger Bacon. I mean, the plaque's obviously quite old. Known as the wonderful doctor, who by the experimental method extended marvelous, marvelously the realm of science after a long life of untiring activity near this place in the home of his Franciscan brethren, fell asleep in Christ AD 1292. Only uh, a few thousand years, a few hundred years, sorry, before me. But I will go around now and just see if Russell has found any more information about... Well, you can slowly pan around because it's having fun today, the old gimbal. Right. Have you found anything? Not about that column. No. Can we work out from any of the streets that are there? Get your pizza out of the shop. <laughs> um, can we work out from any of the streets there where we were? Or oh, what we got is, a waterway. What's 10? 10. Oh. Yeah. What is it? We're effectively all eating hall. Oh, that's south no of good. This. So we have. I can't even see this. Where the little gate is. Boats to the quay. So you've got a mill and a boats to the quay. You've got the city wharf, which is this one, I believe. Well, that one there and, and this that is, one there. Yeah, because they took down the wall to build this. Okay. So it's this waterway here we need to know. To get up. So I can't think of where the waterway is. What's, up, what's number one? Ed's church, boom. Oh, well, that was nice and easy then, wasn't it? Yeah, right. So, where that column is, then, where that column is, so if that's St. Ebbs and the tower, and then that would have been roughly where the, the Norman door was that we filmed the other day, um, then that. So, we went into the back of Westgate, you then come round into Sainsbury's. So, I would say that where we were was around there yeah. on the old friary. Um, Oh, so that's quite interesting. So, as I say, sometimes stories do turn out to be relatively true. It wasn't the wall, but it was actually better than the wall. Oh. So, that concludes me and Russell's random fact-finding and um, ancient archaeological sites walk around for today's lunchtime. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll keep trying to find out information about other sites in Oxford and then if we hear a story we'll go and investigate it, especially if it sounds good. Anyway, enjoy your day.